Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's On The Social. This is the show where you take control and send in questions for me to answer. Once again, this show is sponsored by the One Football app. The One Football app is the easiest way to keep up to date with all the latest football news, stats and everything you want to know about football. So to download the app today, the link is in the description below. Um, first of all, before I start, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Uh, all getting back into the swing of getting back to work now. I know I'm struggling. I've been back two days. Um, so yeah, look, got a few questions to go through. I'm going to start off with, got one here from Facebook. Uh, it's from Dan Smith. Andy, obviously means Carol, has to go. Would really love Shelby to come in. What do you think of Shelby? And hope everyone at West Ham Fan TV had a great Christmas. Um, yeah, first of all, thank you for that. Yeah, I, I had a great Christmas. I'm sure the rest of the boys had a good one as well. Um, as for Andy Carroll and John Joe Shelby, I'd love John Joe Shelby at West Ham. I think he's a good player. Uh, I think he could add a lot to our midfield. Would I swap him for Andy Carroll? Uh, personally, no, because I, I think if you're going to get rid of a striker, you've got to bring a striker in. But as I said, I'd love to see John Joe Shelby at West Ham. Uh, maybe you never know, we could get him and maybe he could put a few balls in for Andy Carroll to score some more goals. Right, moving on, Aaron Stewart. Ryan, as it's January, I hope we can bring in a couple of new players. A right back, a powerful centre midfielder and a striker. What do you think? Uh, yeah, definitely a right back. I know Ryan Fredericks is rumoured to be back in training in the next couple of weeks, which will be a massive boost. Uh, Zabaleta, obviously, he can't play every game. He needs a bit of help. And obviously, Antonio's been playing now the last few games, which, don't get me wrong, he's done a great job. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely think we need a right back. Centre midfielder, yeah, we've been linked with quite a few so far this um, month. I know we've been linked with Loftus Cheek, which I don't think will happen. Uh, Danny Drinkwater as well, and of course, John Joe Shelby. Uh, and as for a striker, um, I think if we let one go, which would be probably either Carroll or Perez, uh, if they was to let anyone go, then we, yeah, we definitely need to bring one in. I know we've been linked with Batchway from Chelsea. Uh, to bring him on loan. Uh, I know he's on loan, but they've got the option to call him back. Definitely think we do need to add to the squad 100% in January. Right, Ali Shah. Quite oh, a long one. Hello, Ryan. It's your favourite here. Reg <laughs> Regarding Carroll's future, what would you do? If the club wants to keep him, surely offer him a contract, but drop his wages. If he doesn't agree, then we will have to he will have to find another club. But with his injury record being what it is, what other club would take a risk? Right, there's two parts this good. I'll do that bit first. Uh, as for Andy Carroll, um, yeah, it's a difficult one. I've said that he's got, a t he's obviously got a two-year extension at the end of his uh, contract. So maybe offer him a pay-as-you-play deal or something like that. I mean, he's, they're not going to offer him a pay-as-you-play deal. I do feel a bit sorry for Andy Carroll. I think you see the emotion in his celebration against uh, Birmingham on Saturday. Uh, he's obviously been told he's got to prove he's, that he's worth a new contract. But if he's not playing and scoring... Uh, he finds himself under pressure every week. We know what Andy Carroll's about. On his day, he's a great striker, a great option to have, but it's just his injury record. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with him. I don't know if we're going to release him in, at the end of the summer uh, or they're going to get rid of him in January. It's a tough one, but personally, I'd like to keep him. Uh, the second part of this question, also Spurs Dembele might go to China for nine million bid. Shouldn't we try and get someone like that? He's a great player. I 100% agree he's a great player, but I think the deal for him now is done. Uh, I think the money as well, we couldn't match what they pay out there in China. Um, I'm surprised Tottenham are letting him go for nine million, but I know I think his contract runs out in the summer with Tottenham, so it, I suppose it's a good deal for him at the end of the day. Right. Adam Jessup, would you start Sami and Nasri against Arsenal? Yeah, I would. I was talking about this today in work. Uh, I've been so impressed with Nasri, not so much his performance against Birmingham, which I thought was great. I mean, I looked at the stats. I think he completed 64 out of 66 passes. I loved his link-up play with Arnie. Only, he was only on the pitch for 20 minutes, and they look like they've been playing together for, for all season. Uh, I think with Sami and Nasri, he just adds that bit of of what we lost when Lanzini got injured. We brought Jack Wilshere in. We wanted a creative midfielder. It hasn't worked out for Jack Wilshere. Uh, he's obviously picked up an injury. But for me, Sami and Nasri is someone that can get on that ball and unlock a defence. Look for that key pass. We've also got someone like Anderson on the pitch as well. So, yeah, I, I would start him against Arsenal. Uh, I think it'd be a big boost for the team. Uh, Nasri would definitely be up for it. The Arsenal fans would be there booing him. 
Uh, so it'd be good. It'd be good for Sami and Nasri. So yeah, I would start him against Arsenal. Right. At Adam27996. Sell, keep or loan. Dear Garner, Silva, Oxford, Holland, Masawaku, Antonio, Ogbonna, Obiang, Carroll and Perez. Right. Keep Dear Garner, keep Silva, sell Oxford, loan Holland, keep Masawaku, keep Antonio, keep Ogbonna, keep Obiang, um, keep Carroll, and I'd probably loan Perez out as long as we've got someone else coming in. Um, yeah, I mean, some of them, that's, that's for now in January, if that might be a different answer to that at the uh, in the summer window. Right, at Stevie Ray Punk, Hello, chaps. If Zaba decides not to extend his contract by another year in the summer, what right back would you like to see us go for? Um, well, as I said earlier, I mean, Ryan Fredericks, uh, I think he's got the potential to be a great signing for us, a great um, right back. Uh, he's only young. Uh, he's unfortunately picked up an injury, but hopefully he should be back soon. Um, I think we missed a trick with the uh, Klein, Klein going to Bournemouth. Uh, I think that would have been a great signing uh, he's a proven Premier League right back. Um, but yeah, we've been linked with McDowell uh, as well, who can also play centre mid, but he can operate a right back. But no, we definitely need to bring someone in in January just to keep cover for Zabaleta. Right. Ali Shah. Right, he was on Facebook, now he's on Twitter. He's, 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 I'm going to let him get I like Ali, I'm going to let him get away with this one. With Nasri looking good, do you think... Pellegrini will go into a 4-2-3-1 formation. So two holding mids in Rice and Noble, three attacking mids, Anderson, Nasri and Snods with Arnie up top. Yeah, do you know what? When I was uh, sitting there picking the team today for Saturday, that is the team, that is the forward line that I picked. I think if we can get all them players ticking together, then we will cause Arsenal, especially with their defence at the moment, we will cause them some real problems. Um, and it's, it's exciting to turn up to the game on Saturday knowing that we're going to give Arsenal a game because the last few years we've not been near them. Uh, I remember they beat us 5-1 when Sanchez got a hat-trick. Uh, I know last year we drew 0-0 but to be fair they probably should have won that game as well. Um, but yeah, no, that's, uh, that's the starting lineup I went for. Right, Greg Hobbs at GH90WHU. What's going on with Hernandez? He seems to play a few months then disappears for a bit. He's on a big wage as well. Would you get rid of him in the window to buy two decent fullbacks? Um, me personally, no. I mean, I think he picked up a, a back injury and he's meant to be back in training uh, this week. He might miss the Arsenal game, but he should be back for Bournemouth. Um, no, I'll definitely keep Hernandez uh, at least until the summer. Uh, I just think getting rid of someone like Hernandez now would be stupid, unless we could bring in like for like. Um Bring in two decent fullbacks. Yeah, I wouldn't get rid of a striker because if you get rid of a striker, I'd bring a striker in. But I think we're all right down the left side. I mean, Masawaku and Creswell for me up until the uh, the summer are two decent left backs. Um, as I said, we definitely need cover to come in to help us have a letter out. Right. At Pierre underscore Fontaine. Can you... <laughs> can you boys... Grab a drum each so we can improve the home atmosphere. Banging Dan's head doesn't count. Um, yeah, look, it would be good if we could get some drums in there. To The atmosphere was really poor on Saturday, but I, 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 I put that down to uh, regulars not being there and there was a lot of kids for a quid and a lot of families there, but it's not taken away that it hasn't been poor for a long time over there now. Uh, we only seem to get up for the big games, the London derbies or against the bigger clubs. Uh, but no, I think, yeah, banging, maybe we should all just sit around banging Dan's head because it worked well on post-match pint. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Nicky proper slapped his head. But no, I mean, we definitely need to improve the um, the atmosphere in the stadium. That comes down to us fans. Uh, as I said, I think it'll be a good atmosphere on Saturday, early kickoff, off uh, London derby against Arsenal. Big game. Uh, we've got some big games coming up in the next few weeks. We, we travel to Bournemouth and Wolves, which will be two difficult away games and then we've got Liverpool at home so it's a massive few weeks for West Ham to help us push up that table but I mean yeah that's it for this week's questions uh, thank you so much for everyone for sending in uh, your questions uh, as always give me your thoughts below uh, give me your answers to any of the questions uh, and as always keep subscribing to the channel uh, 
And yeah, I mean, we've got a big week coming up. You'll have a lot of build up to the Arsenal game. We'll be meeting up with Robbie at Arsenal Fan TV. Uh, Scott will have his previews as well. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for all the videos. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this week's show. I'm Ryan Archer. Come on, you irons.